in this video we'll be looking at the GPO clock 46 which is this thing here and explaining what it was for what it did so unlike most master clock systems which generally run either 1 or 30 or 1 minute secondary dials this doesn't which confuses a lot of collectors as to what it did but let's go into that so what it does have is a count wheel you see right in the middle of the screen there we have a deeper notch every six seconds which shuts contacts and gives you a pulse every six seconds behind that which is about C2 contacts there there's a can and they close for three seconds and then they open for three seconds we'll come to that in a minute it's called tone control now right in the middle going up and down you can see the one second contacts and below that is what's known as the hip toggle now the pendulum slowly loses its rate of oscillation when it gets to a minimum predetermined amount of contact operates that bar gets pulled down and it fires up the electromagnet which gives the impulse uh, gives the pendulum an impulse and off it goes again and here are the outputs so we have 4.5 volt drive we have earth you can't quite see it there one second the tone control again and the six second so let's see what these do here is a demonstration unit which allows us to see what's happening on the right our supervisory lens just telling us showing us the set pulses coming out obviously the one second is every second three times one second which is known as tone control and at the bottom the light indicating the pulse every six seconds on the left is what's known as a clock number 38 or a Vida clock I think the name comes from the design of it. It shows the time, so it's 115.8 of a minute. That's a decimal point eight because it works on six second pulses. 115.9. Oh, and that'll be 116. Let's have a check with the clocks here. 116 it is. Uh, these had two purposes. One was to actually check the accuracy of the clock 46 for adjustment if it's going fast or slow. And the other was on toll positions where you'd have sets of two uh, switchboards. And between every two you'd have one of these so that they could tell the time. Right, we'll go on to switchboards in a minute. For those of you younger that don't really know what a switchboard is... It was a it was something that an operator would sit at, you'd ring a light, would come on, uh, she'd ask you what number, you'd tell her, and then she'd connect it with a big old jack cord like this, just put it up and plug it in. I'll show you that. The exchange. With chunks and toll and telegrams and all exchanges too. So, having connected your call and waited for an answer, the operator would check this was zeroed and turn it this way if you were calling from a coin box or this way if you were calling from an ordinary line and it would start ticking away the length of your call in 0.1 of a minute or every 6 seconds. Uh, general call charges were about 3 minutes so what this was designed to do is a few seconds before the expiry of each three minute period it would put a tone on the line and I know someone who can explain that much better than I can. A time signal of three sharp pips is given every three minutes on trunk and toll calls to warn you that if you go on there will be an extra charge. Here it is.
Pools were quite expensive in those days, so they didn't often reach nine minutes. But if they did, the light on the switchboard, indicated here by that, would start flashing, and the operator would just reset this. Make a note that she'd already added nine minutes onto the call, and it would continue. Anyway, so now you know what the tone control does, three times one second. It produces that tone. So if you have one of these, what can you do with it? Well, there's a few things. You can try to get a clock 38. There's one there, the media check clock. So you can check the timing of it. Um, clock 44 is probably a bit more complicated unless you're really into telecommunications. Or you have a switchboard, in which case you can write. Or failing that, if you just want it on the wall, you can run one second clocks for one second output. Basically, apart from just stuffing 4.5 volts in it and giving the pendulum a swing, it won't do much, but it will look cool. What's that on the wall? It's a uh, clock 46. Yeah, right. So there we go. That's basically the clock 46. It was designed for the timing of trunk toll calls, telephone calls, call box calls, and not really much else. And that's it.